Hi, and welcome to Indigo Starfire. My name is Bevan, and in this reading, I'm going to be doing a channeled message from your future spouse. There are three groups to choose from. Group one is the Red Glass Heart. Group two is the Caribbean Calcite Heart. And group three is the rhodochrosite heart. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you'd like to jump ahead, which I do recommend using so that you can skip over me shuffling cards in between groups to clear the energy of the group I've just read for and tap into the energy of the group I'm about to read for. So again, I'll give you a minute, please use the timestamps and we'll get into your reading. Hi, group one. You chose the red glass heart. So I'm going to start by pulling um, some tarot and I'll use that as the framework for the channeling and then I'll dig into kind of the deeper energies surrounding that and I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense. So using pronouns such as I, me, and you. Um, so what does your future spouse want you to know at this time? We have the Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Page of Cups, Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, and Ten of Swords. I'm working diligently right now to tear down those walls around my heart. I'm giving notice to all the ghosts of my past that they are no longer welcome here. I'm tired of being so withdrawn from the potential of what love could be, what it should be, what it ought to have been right from the start. I have been dwelling on losses for too long. Those excuses have worn thin to cling to the energies of the past and to overanalyze what I could have done better. To question why my love was not received, why I was not deemed worthy in my most vulnerable state. Why? These answers no longer require a question, and the question no longer requires an answer. 
what was once so important, no longer holds sway. I am disinterested in resolution from my past and from those who for their own reasons and their own woundings were not able to perceive my value before. There is a substantial loss that I'm trying to find the root of that has been like a navigation system for me and has pulled me into a series of repeated mistakes that I am tired of relearning over and over again. As I open the door to love's gone sour and I look each one in the face and I see all the potential that I once recognized and how much of what I saw was a projection of my own fantasy thinking and lack of emotional maturity. I am able to come to the truth of why these situations played out as they did, what I am meant to learn from that so that I can step into a greater place of compassion and wholeness in myself without being dragged back down by the need to question and wonder, could I have done something more? Could I have done something better to keep this situation intact that wouldn't have resulted in so many tears, so much anger, and such running away? It's my own reflection that I am faced with now and the consequences of choices that were made to reject love, to cling to the lack of it. I'm through projecting blame onto so many others and I am finished putting on a pedestal those who were never meant to stand by my side in the long run. Their function, their purpose, was to teach me what love was not in order to prepare me for what love truly is that I know I will find in your arms one day. I have to become this first. I have to ready myself. And part of that is clearing space. To letting go of the things that I am still clinging to as much as I had thought that they no longer mattered, that I was over it, that those wounds were finished, that everything just is what it is, and yet it is not. I'm turning what needs to be done in so many ways and often it feels like I'm feeling my way through the darkness. I don't know anyone who has endeavored such feats before, so I have no one to ask. All the advice I've gotten up to this point in time has fallen short of bringing me to lasting happiness, so I'm going it alone. Quietly and under the cover of darkness, I'm searching those terrains within, asking questions that I never thought to examine before. Change has to start with me. And I recognize now a pattern in every pretty face that came with promises which fell short. I am that common denominator. I am the one who needs to do something different in order to become different 
to experience different, to bring myself into a place of alignment within where what I have to offer to you, it's not just going to drag us into that same repeating and tired cycle that I'm so used to, that same predictable narrative. And this isn't easy. And at times I feel confident and other times I, I don't know if I'm going the right way or just running around in circles again, but I have to try. This urge, this need, this want to look within start to do that uncomfortable process of healing in a more profound and direct and honest way than I have before. Somehow, I feel that it's all a matter of preparation and that you're out there somewhere too, doing the same thing in your own way and in your own time within. And if you're not, maybe this can be that word of encouragement so that you will no longer turn away from those clinging questions that you don't have to answer. You've given enough energy to heartbreak. It's time to live. And even if when you feel you are going that road alone, turning your back on the comfort of uncertainty and misery and loss, which is so familiar. Please be assured that the path you are carving out for yourself beyond illusions and into truth is the parallel path that I too am forging so that our roads, our destinies can one day intersect in a time and a manner in which the beauty of untapped and unknown love can finally germinate between us as it should have long ago. So those are your messages, group one. Um, in terms of signs with the pentacles, we have earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Swords is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And with the cups, we have water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So I'm going to get some initials, and this can be a first middle or last name of you or this person, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got B. K, Z, A, O, and X. So those are your messages, group one. I hope they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well and I've launched a second channel here on YouTube. It's called Lady of the Dawn Tarot. There's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. The format over there consists of pick a cards and general energy check-ins related to topics such as spirituality, wellness, ascension, and self-love. So if that sounds interesting I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.
by group two. You chose the Caribbean calcite. So I'm going to start with tarot to um, kind of establish a framework for the channeling and then dig into the deeper energy surrounding the cards that come out. I'm going to be channeling using the first person tense, so pronouns such as I, me, and you. So let's see, what does your future spouse want you to know right now? Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands, the Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and Two of Swords. ready because I'm coming in fast. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to do all the things that I have imagined would be occurring with that perfect someone, that partner, that best friend, that one who would understand me and challenge me and be by my side through all the seasons to come. As I imagine you in this moment, you are like summertime. There's something so lazy and familiar and comforting and warm about your vibration. And I know that it will take time for us to build the type of intimacy and familiarity with one another that we can say anything, that words no longer matter. It is just by feeling and touch that our intentions are known. And I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself when I lean into that feeling of comfort and forever, but I can't help it. I've never been so propelled in one particular direction, so quickly, so adamantly and with everything that I am before. I'm trying to exercise restraint I'm trying not to get lost up in the details of how and when, what that's going to look like when I see you and say, ah, there you are. That one, that familiar vibration that I have known forever. I want to make your heart sing with joy and I want to receive all the possibilities of what you are able to unleash and call forth from within me. My hands are open and my arms are open wider to embrace you, to bring you close and to bring you near with everything that I am. What's the past? I can't even remember any of their names anymore. There is only you. And I'm discerning and I'm watching and I'm taking careful steps, not towards the repeating of cycles and disappointments and things that lead nowhere, but I am trusting this tugging that I feel within. It's like a giddiness and it's an empowered certainty within my solar plexus that says run. Run in that direction as fast as you can. And everyone and everything that can't keep up with me, it is a distant blur. I no longer care. I am no longer interested in what doesn't hold substance and meaning, what doesn't have stability. 
what is soon determined to not bear fruit, I move beyond that. And I wasn't always this way. There was a time when I was stuck, when I would dawdle and become distracted by all the shiny things which came across my path. And I wasted years. And it took a long time to dim down those memories into a hush and a silence. And so from this point forward, I am more cautious and yet I am open. I am willing and I am waiting and I'm running towards you as fast as I can. I don't want you to doubt or fear when I come in that I will leave you stranded, wondering, disappointed in yourself for having opened the door to your heart to me. I'm not like the others. And although at first glance, you may question if I have hidden motives, if there's something that you're just not seeing. All of this praying and this waiting and this wondering and preparation that you have made you just being you, in all of your perfect complications, and you have called me in, you are calling me in this moment. And when I arrive, I know it will take you some time to realize that it is me, the one you've been waiting for. And I'm trying to prepare myself for that, to go the distance, to hold that space for you, to open your eyes and open your heart and recognize the similarity in our vibration, how complementary we are, how balanced in all our differences. And although I am rushing, I know that we have time just can't wait to meet you. And I don't even know where to look. I only know this feeling within that pulls me and guides me and tugs me in a particular direction. And I feel that the season of love will soon be upon us. At least that's what I hope. I am what you have been waiting for. And you are everything that I have been searching for my whole life. And even now in this moment, when I think about the idea of forever with you, even though you are merely just a faint suggestion, uh, a voice in my mind and from dreams, and I don't know your face, and I don't know your favorite flavor of ice cream or if you even like ice cream and sweets at all. And I don't know what your favorite song is and your favorite color is unknown to me, but I will learn these things in time. And for all that remains unclear, there is this certainty that you are out there. And you are made for me as I am made for you. And so just keep being you. Just keep dancing through the atmosphere in whatever way you are guided. I have honed in on your frequency and I recognize you as my heart leaps forward and I am pulled beyond the threads of time. And I am fast forwarding to that place where we say, I do and mean it. And it will take steps to get there. And I know that we will have our stumbling blocks. And that even in fairy tales, there is a bit of darkness. However, I am motivated 
to go through all the seasons with you. To turn and discover and relearn the way love should feel and the way it will be and the way that it already is between us. Dancing heart, feel me with you now in this moment, so close, our spirits touching beyond space and time. Get ready for me because I'm coming in to sweep away all the uncertainty you have had about my existence. I am just as real as you are. Here and now, love will find you. It is in your destiny to be loved utterly and for everything that you are. And it is my honor and my privilege to search the world until I find you. I can hear your heartbeat so close to mine. And I can't wait until I finally discover you. So those are your messages, group two. So in terms of signs with the wands, we have fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The pentacles is earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Swords is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And the wheel of fortune is mutable energy, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, and Sagittarius. So I'm gonna get some initials, and this can be first, middle or last name of you or this person, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got E, D, L, O, B, P, C, R, T, Q, and A. So those are your messages, group two. I hope they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers, if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. And and I've launched a second channel here on YouTube. It's called Lady of the Dawn Tarot. There's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. The format over there uh, consists of pick a cards as well as general energy check-ins related to topics such as spirituality, ascension, wellness, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.
group three. He chose the rhodochrosite heart. So I'm going to start by pulling um, some tarot cards and I'll use those for the framework of the channeling and then I'll dig into kind of the deeper energy surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling uh, using the first person tense, so pronouns such as I, me, and you. So what does your uh, future spouse want you to know right now? We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Five of Swords, Four of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the Chariot. I'm sorry for the delay in my arrival. I know that I'm running late and that you are exhausted with all of the signs that you have gotten, that I'm here, that I'm near, and that I'm coming towards you. Please still your mind and worries that we may have missed each other somewhere along the road. Although our original plan has had to be rewritten, the edits which are now required are of my own making and some things which are outside of my control. There is still time for us and a new version and a different version of what will be can still manifest despite the ways in which it might look different than what we had both intended long ago. I'm breaking free from limitations in my perception of what true love looks like. I am making healthier choices for myself so that I can bring to you the vibration of wellness because it's what you deserve. And more than just wanting to give to you, I am realizing the value of giving to myself first and foremost. That my wellness and well-being is the wellness and well-being of what we will become and what we will create together. I know that you may feel that your options are very limited at this point in time as far as what more you can do to heal this situation, to repair this situation, to encourage me, to allow me, and to give me the time and space that is necessary to get my act together. You've done enough. And I thank you for every act of generosity and kindness and even the tough love that you have shown me. And these delays, this horizon which has remained so elusive to us both, this is by no means your fault. There's nothing that you've done or failed to do that has created these obstacles and the setbacks. 
So I need you to put your mind at ease. Rest your heart and be in peace. And stop looking to that door. Stop looking at that phone. Stop looking and searching and saying, where are you? Because I promise I will arrive. And when I come towards you, I know that it won't be easy for us to generate something new. I know that there will be disappointments that will be stirred up from where they have been nesting in our subconscious and that we will have to face these things that it won't be a picnic to get to our destination point together. There will be rain and there will be tears, but there will also be so much love, so much consistency in a way that is foreign to the both of us. And I need you to keep showing up for yourself every day even if all you can do is just hold on and get through the minutes. And if you find yourself looking, wondering, yearning, and doubting, please do not judge yourself. All is forgiven. We are both only human after all. And we're treading into new territory with one another. This notion of forever, it goes beyond wedding bells for us. There's something bigger at play here, which I still can't put my finger on. And I have to admit that I have gotten lost in the complication and the tangle of trying to figure that out. And it has caused me to take my eye off the prize which you are. But no more, at least for now. I want to help you believe in the miraculous. I want to participate with you in the miracle of what our love can become. You are the one for me And that is an unshakable fact. That is an immutable truth, which I keep coming back to. And the new life that I am generating for myself, the stability that I am growing from the ground up, it is of such a nature and variety that you will find me much changed. And it will be like we're starting over again from the beginning. Reacquainting ourselves which is our, with what is already so familiar to each of us. The soul of one another. And what you are doing, what you are building, what you are growing, it is contributing to our stability and happiness further down the road. Please don't diminish the contribution that you are making simply by being you in this moment. Trust in the direction we are both being guided and led. Trust in the changes which are unfolding daily for you and for me. These parallel paths will intersect again. And we will generate so much more balance than was possible before. I'm starting to realize that our history, it was just a glimpse. As much as we thought, this is everything. There's so much more. 
and through the distance I send you love and I do what I can to encourage you by focusing on what I need to do for me. And it's not now, but it's not never. And forever with us will arrive sooner than you would imagine. I promise you that. And I need you to honor the place within you that is certain and the place within you which doubts. Because in that spectrum of polarity is the wholeness of what we are and what we are not. All is worthy of consideration. And if for, in order for us to thrive and to be stable and to grow and to endure, We must face our own shadows and our own light. And I am so proud of you for what you have done in this capacity so far. I, in my own way and in my own time, are right on the other side of the mirror from you doing that. And I am afraid to touch the glass. I am afraid to touch my own reflection because my family and my upbringing and my history and everything that I have come to know within me has told me don't. You will only create splinters and shards. There is nothing to be gained from that. And so I'm unlearning. I am freeing myself from that energy of lack and loss and mirage. I am reaching deeply into my potential and all the aspects of failure that I hold inside so that I can gain clarity about the wholeness of who I am. So that when I arrive at your door, when I step forward, there will be no stone left unturned. I want to build with you in an authentic way. And so I am being authentic with myself. In my anticipation and my hesitation, both are valid. And I am stepping into that best version of myself again and again, encouraged by you as you are out there on the other side of that mirror doing the same thing. I love you. Okay, so those are your messages, group three. Um, in terms of signs with the pentacles, we have um, earth energy, which is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. The Hierophant is Taurus. Swords is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Um, Wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And the Chariot is Cancer. So I'm going to get some initials, and this can be a first, middle, or last name of you or this person, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got A, W, B, V, E, Y. O, K, and U. So those are your messages, group three. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If 
If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. Um, and I've also launched a second channel here on YouTube. It's called Lady of the Dawn Tarot. There's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. The format over there consists of pick a cards and general energy check-ins related to subjects such as spirituality, ascension, wellness, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.